I think we've learned the dangers of just leaving technology assessment to the experts. So there have been uh, like boards of technology assessment just run by governments, but the more you bring people in and their perspectives in from their life experience, the better. So take India, for example, when it was considering GM crops, there were processes that included farmers, that included people who were consumers uh, of food and uh, obviously growers of food as farmers, and they debated the pros and cons. And farmers had a particular experience of the previous revolution, the so-called Green Revolution, which is it actually hadn't benefited uh, the everyday farmers as much as the corporate hype uh, and even some governments had said it had. So they gave that experience and used that experience to evaluate the new technology.